So this is what you're seeing here in action. So it's actually going to the website that I gave it. So this is something, again, I deployed with Replit, and it's just for experimental purposes. It is not meant to be fancy, but it's meant to be useful for the agent. And so right there, what you see is it's actually testing out a few prompts on the service. So here it's doing some analysis. Hey, well, so today I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. So I'm actually interested in using ChatGPT Agent, this new release from OpenAI, to do a bit of research for me. So there are different kinds of research that I do throughout the day, and some of them are super consuming. One example of that type of research is reviewing some new release or some model release. So for instance, GLM 4.5 was released yesterday, and I typically go over a few prompts, I test it out. So here what I've done is I've provided ChatGPT a bunch of tests, so this is just a little file that I have with a bunch of prompts that I want to test the model on, and I need somewhere to actually test it. What you would typically do is just tell it a website like Open Router. However, my Open Router is connected to my Google account. ChatGPT agent tries to sign in. That sign in is not possible because it's blocked. So what I have done here is I've actually created my own little app, and this little app, what it does is basically providing some kind of middle layer streaming API service so that I can stream some responses from the model and it's using open router APIs as a backend. This was super quick to put together. I actually built this with Replit agent in like five minutes. It does support exactly what I want. So now the agent will have access to the service and it's a dedicated service that I've built just for the agent. So I've provided it the necessary features. It has everything that it needs as context to be able to run the test that I'm asking it to do. Here are the things that the agent needs to consider. So it's gonna test the coding and reasoning capabilities. I will also provide a set of prompt, which is this one right here. The open router app sometimes takes a bit of time. So this is something that I've been experimenting with a bit. And I noticed that you have to steer the agent a little bit because if it notices something weird on the website as it is interacting with it, it usually pauses or tries to do something else. Like it gets distracted about other things. Those are little issues that I'm seeing. So what I've done here is I tell it, hey, you need to be patient, wait for the response. The response is gonna stream. You can maybe open up new tabs and try another prompt as you wait for the responses to come for each one of the prompts. So this is really helpful for steering. Otherwise, you will notice some weird behaviors and the agent takes some weird decisions and it's usually not ideal. And don't use other services for the API call. Sometimes it would use another service, especially if it thinks that this got stuck, it would just use another service. So I told it just use the one that I provided. And then I told it the output that I want is to generate a report. I also report back on the prompt used and your detailed analysis, then create a two-page technical report that I can share with my team. Okay, so this is what you're seeing here in action. So it's actually going to the website that I gave it. So this is something, again, I deployed with Replit and it's just for experimental purposes. It is not meant to be fancy, but it's meant to be useful for the agent. And so right there, what you see is it's actually testing out a few prompts on the service. So here it's doing some analysis. So this one basically is trying to run potentially some program that it saw on one of the responses from the model. So that's really cool that it did that. So it's doing a lot of things because it's actually trying to do research for me and it's doing the experimentation for me. So I can get pretty detailed about the experimentation, but here I just wanted to try out a few high level tests or prompts that I wanted to test the model on. So this is a new model and it has reasoning capabilities and normally I would just test it with a few prompts, some tricky prompts and some prompts that are much harder for these reasoning models. The ChatGPT agent has a bunch of tools that it uses. It browses the web, it searches for things. When it gets stuck, it can use its tool. It uses the file that I provided up here, process that, and then it's trying different prompts from that and so on. So it does a lot of interesting things. Here it's creating a markdown report file. So apparently it's finished with the report. So I'm really interested to see what the report actually includes. So here's the detailed report that I got from the system. It worked for 18 minutes. You can see all the details here of what it did. So you can go through all of that here, but I'm not gonna go through that here again. And so now I'm able to download the full report. So it's talking a little bit about the model, what it is, that's an overview. So notice it's using the different sources, right? It decided to go to the different websites. So this is the official website from the folks who created this model. And then it's gonna tell me a little bit about the experimental setup. So it's using the open router playground, the one I gave it, the one that I built dedicated for this experiment. And so these are the different prompts that I tried. And then it had some observations, which is the thing that I want. 
So it says the model produced an organized response. It stated the approach, provided a clear function, and explained its logic. The reasoning was concise and correct. So it's doing some observation and it's telling me a summary of how it performed. This one was a little bit of a tricky question. TLM 4.5 generated a long chain of thought explanation describing the family structure. It correctly concluded that Kelly has one sister, summarizing the reasoning succinctly at the top of the response. And then this one is the tricky question again. This one was straightforward and accurate. Write a Python function. So this one it says GLM responded with an extremely verbose chain of thought, about 7K tokens describing different strategies, complexity analysis and code. The final function correctly handled duplicates and edge cases, but the verbosity caused a response time of 95 seconds. This demonstrates that the hybrid reason setting can generate unnecessarily long outputs for simple tasks. Again, this is an observation that the agent did, and I think this is the case for these reasoning models. Sometimes they would generate too many tokens or overthink for very simple tasks. This one was a bit of more challenging question. And then it says GLM 4.5, this is the first 70 primes, explain to the perform modulo and thousand to keep numbers small, sum them step by step. The concise summary at the top of the response stated that the sum is this and the last four digits are this. So this matches a manual calculation. So it did a calculation manually. You notice that in the little snapshot that I showed you above in the screen, generate a creative Python game that helps me learn about LLMs. The model proposed this game here using take into a GUI library, and then it says some other stuff here. The summarized introduction described the concept clearly and the full code was functional, but very lengthy. So it's criticizing a bit there as well. Then it says some additional ones were attempted, but resulted in HTTP error. So that's more about my service. I need to fix it a bit. Then it says an analysis and discussion. So the strengths were strong coding ability, detailed reasoning. So lots of details for some of the reasoning tasks, hybrid reasoning, the ability to produce long chain of thought or concise summaries. So concise summaries at the top allow users to quickly read the final answer without being overwhelmed by the chain of thought. Tool calling preparedness, the long explanations often include comments about algorithm choice and complexity, suggesting that GLM 4.5 is designed to work with tool calling frameworks. So that's another great observation. Apparently, GLM 4.5 has really good tool calling capabilities, actually explicitly trained VRL to do this really well. The creative game code shows functions, definitions, and classes that would be invoked as tools in an agentic system. That's an interesting one. I need to go actually and check the logs for this particular prompt. Here are the weaknesses. Overly verbose chain of thought, Right, so that's one issue with these models and apparently it was the case here. But is this representative enough? This particular experiment that it did wasn't enough to conclude that because it was just a couple of prompts. But I'm excited about scaling this now, asking maybe to do, I don't know, 20 you know, to 50 experiments. It might take a long time to actually do it. And I don't even know if ChatGPT agent actually has any limits. So I actually have to take that into account too. But I'm excited about this because it's actually doing some experimentation like if I was doing it. So that's really great. And and actually make observations that I completely missed. So that's the thing that I'm interested in actually checking with this particular system. So it's looking around the web and looking for information from the official blog, apparently. Yes, it gave us something like, but the structure code outputs suggested readiness for integration. The lengthy chain of thought is a double-edged sword. It demonstrates internal reasoning, but can be inefficient. It is the case with most of these models that this is always an issue with the hybrid reasoning models. I'm not sure about the art here, but I like it still. Obviously, I have many ideas on how to keep iterating on this idea. Let me know your thoughts on this and if you're experimenting with something similar. And I'll see you all in the next one.